Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today, we're going to do a reading for Leo. Um, this is going to be for December 2024, though time is fluid. You guys know what I'm going to say already. Uh, when a reading finds you, to me, that's just divine timing. That's when it's meant to be. Um, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, those intuitively guided, thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Many of you know I read through my spirit guides who connect to your guides. Um, that's why one reading can resonate with so many people. We are, I feel like, one big soul tribe. I really feel that way deep, deep within my soul. Um, and I feel like we have new members joining us all the time. So if you're new, welcome. Um, so I don't know if I've said it yet. Leo, sun, moon, rising, those intuitively guided uh, you may be in love with the Leo, platonically, romantically. I have a lot of Leo love in my life. Um, I have a long list. So, first of all, my grandson, Lexington, who is right in the cusp of cancer in Leo, um, July 23rd. He's my oldest grandson. He's in his 20s. Wow. Um, my mother, who has crossed over, was August 5th. My beautiful son, who also has crossed over, August 12th. My soul sister, Diane, um, August 16th. And um, although Sam is not a Virgo, my boyfriend, I mean, I'm sorry, not Leo, he's also right on that cusp. So he's, he is August 23rd, which is actually a Virgo. Um, well, you know, it depends. Some people would put him as a Leo, but... You know, I put him as a Virgo, though. I definitely see the Leo traits within him. Uh, so when you're on the cusp, many times you'll carry both energies, which, I mean, in a way is a blessing, I think. Uh, so anyway, we're going to use quite a few different decks, Leo. So I'm not going to take a lot of time talking. I do want to let you know real quick, though. Um, I put a video out not too long ago where... Um, it was just about, a, it was about holiday gift certificates, and a lot of people are taking it wrong, um, like I'm offering free readings. I, I Unfortunately, I cannot do that. I just do too many readings, and that would, I mean, I just can't do it. I wish I could. These are your free readings. Um, it was really about if you want to buy your loved one a gift certificate for the holidays, giving them the gift of clarity uh, and you can use it, you know, or they can use it any way you choose. I mean, you can buy yourself one. Um, but what I do is as soon as you purchase the reading, if it's for a loved one or even yourself, I put you in my schedule right away. So you can decide, you know, do I want to let my loved one go ahead and send me questions or, do you know enough about their situation where you prefer me just to do it going going by what you have to say? Whatever you want. Um, what else? Oh, I have all my beads on. I want to remind you guys that I also work with a company called Otter Spirit. These are my healing beads, and I wear them all the time. These are my Virgo beads. I am a Virgo. Um... I am, I don't know why I didn't put the, they usually come in a three pack. Well, they do come in a three pack. I don't know why I didn't put the other one on. Who knows? Uh, so anyways, let's get into your reading, Leo. So we're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot. Okay, that card does not want to come up. To clarify, oh, Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Success. Uh, especially if you have a business, successful self-employment. You know, some of you might just be beginning to see the fruits of your labor after a period of time and putting a lot of work in. I feel like this is a really good omen. I hope it comes out in a reading. We're going to put it on top that we will give them a shuffle. Uh, for your main spread, I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams. And um, it's a, it, it's just not a deck that I normally use for you. But it's interesting because this month, it feels like the decks, you know, I really pay attention to my own intuition, my spirit guides. 
and um, even to like what deck should I use um, but the Troy Dreams was calling out for you so we we're gonna use them I brought out the Romance Angels in case love comes up in the reading I have to say there's not a reading I've done for December where they haven't where love hasn't come up and my readings are really about life you know all areas of your life and love is one area we're going to use the major arcanas i use these for like bullet points um but i have to say with these also i usually i shoot for like three to four i very seldom turn cards down unless it's just too many but we have beginning a lot um but they've been telling one hell of a message so I don't turn them, I won't turn them down unless, again, it's just too much. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. And, you know, the way I describe my readings is they're layers. You know, like Mother Mary is the first layer. Um, the major arcanas will be the second layer. Your main spread will be the third. The... Um, Gilded Tarot, where we clarify or go deeper. Each level, we're going deeper, really, um, will be the fourth. And then the Romance Angels will be the fifth. So, one of the reasons why my readings are so long is because I do want to go deep. I do want to find you true clarity. You know, I don't want to just show you the good things. I want to show you how to get there. That's what I ask my guides for, like, give us clarity on not just the potential of what's coming up, but what do we need to know? Do Is there any blocks that we may have? All right, so we got three from Mother Mary. We have family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. Family. Well, it is the holiday season. You know, I said this in another reading, but um, it's been weighing heavily on my mind where, you know, you say happy holidays. But then I just I worry so much about those who it's impossible to have a happy holiday. You know, they don't have the funds or if they have children, um, they have a hard time buying gifts and i've been in that situation um my daughter's kind of going through that situation and i know quite a few of you are going through that so i just want you to know that i am praying for you constantly and um i'm hoping that you can have joy through the holiday i really am i know you know it's not about the presence but let's face it that's what it's turned into and it makes it harder and harder uh, for families all right tenderness this always, rem always reminds me of the empress i am both gentle and powerful don't mistake in my gentleness for weakness mm -mm. i'm gentle but i'm powerful and yes you are forgiveness Tis the season. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. This may have something to do with your family. Maybe there's someone in your family that, mm, you know. And by the way, forgiveness, I, I don't feel like you have to pick up a telephone or go to someone's house and be like, by the way, I forgive you. You know, if you can do that, that's great. But that's really not what it's about. It's just that you are no longer willing to carry the heaviness, you know, you're just not. Um, and I do feel like there may be someone who mistaken your gentleness for weakness. And I feel like they found out, no, I'm powerful. All right, so we're gonna put these to the side. I'm going to bring the lid down. Um, and by the way, we'll know why each one of these are in the reading. Um, it'll show in some way. All right, 
let's go ahead and do the major arcanas now let's go to level number two let's give them a quick shuffle let's give them a cut and let's begin let's begin the tarot portion We have the Devil, Heart of Capricorn. We have the Moon, Heart of Pisces, Ruler of Cancer. You know, the Devil speaks of temptation. And, you know, it can talk about addictions. You know, I lost my son to alcoholism. Um, but it doesn't have to be that. You know, I often feel like in the devil's energy, it's about learning one. You know, we know our light side, but we need to learn our shadow side also. Know oneself. Hello, your major arcana. By the way, we have the feminine and the masculine energy side by side. Side by side, side by side. I'm trying to think, where's that song come from? Side by side. All right, let's see if anything else wants to come out. Whoops, sorry about that for those who have headphones on. We have the beautiful Empress. And I felt that with Mother Mary's message. Male or female, by the way. You know, the Empress is loving, nurturing energy, creative energy. She's someone who really does live in the present moment. She's learned. It doesn't it doesn't suit her to live in the past. She doesn't push herself too far out in the future. It's the current moment that's important. Um, she's very creative, as you are. You know, I... I always feel that Leo belongs in the spotlight in some way. And I feel like that's kind of what the sun is. It's like your spotlight. But it's also a brand new day. Um, it's your illuminator. And anytime the sun shows up in a reading, I feel like we're in for good news. Mm, interesting, and then I get the tower. But the tower is being mirrored by the devil. So some of you, this may be something that you've overcome. And if that's the case, I want to say congratulations. Um, you know, the tower can be like a temporary fall from grace, but it doesn't mean I can't get back up again. It can talk about someone else who fell from grace. Um, it is a disruption, but for some reason, I'm picking it up as something that you yourself have overcome. Like, I feel proud of you. I mean, I'm always proud of you, but I really feel proud of you. I love that the sun is right in the middle. I, I'll take it. I accept it. star your hopes your dreams your wishes i'm not ready to take it yet but i just wanted to show it to you let's see if it comes back out it's interesting because i just got done doing up raise this reading different deck i try to use different decks for different signs um, unless I'm doing in like opposite signs, which for this, for some reason this month, I chose not to. I chose to just do random, like just allow my intuition to call to me what sign to do. And today I was called to do yours. All right, let's begin. I keep saying let's begin, but to me, the reading begins the minute I get record or start all right 
we have the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Is he reversed? Is he not? Well, I'm going to keep him in the upright because that's kind of how I feel him. You know, what I love is this is your guardian angel. And, you know, I know that my son is part of, and I mean my son, S-O-N. His name is Stephen, by the way. Um, I know he is part of our spiritual team, part of our spiritual guidance. Anytime I do your reading, I always feel his energy. I also feel my mother's energy. Um, but I feel his very, very strong. And I say that because... The Knight of Pentacles, to me, is a guardian angel energy. Um, Knight of Pentacles promises to bring in this pentacle. This pentacle truly is meant to enhance your life. But it comes at the right time. Uh, it doesn't come before. doesn't come after. It comes right in the right time. You know, some of you, there's something you've been overcoming. And I do feel like you, you have overcome it. So this feels like the right time. Um, this night brings in a pentacle, and this pentacle is truly meant to enhance your life, make your life better. Um, sometimes it's an opportunity, and then, you know, take the bull by the horns. Sometimes it's, you know, like all of a sudden I'm thinking like, I want to buy a house or I need to rent a house, but I really don't have the finances, and somehow, some way, they show up. All right, well, let's keep going. Boy, your cards are just coming right out. Look at this, another night. So, this is really your night. This night brings in passion, desire. This is a fast-moving night. It's interesting because I feel like whatever the Knight of Pentacles is bringing you, you're taking it. And you're using it to its full advantage. Two nights side by side. Side by side. There we go again. And now we have the Ace of Wands. So you're receiving this. This is inspired action. This is passion ignited. How could it not be ignited? First of all, coming under the sun. Is it for you? It's right under your major arcana. And then the Knight of Wands right beside it, the promise of what I bring in, passionate type energy. You know, it doesn't have to mean love. It just means something that you are going to be very passionate about. And I feel like you deserve it. You know, that's what the Knight of Pentacles would tell me. You know, as something that you've overcome that I do feel like you should be proud of yourself. Um, and again, I'm proud of you, which means your spear guides, your, the, your whole team is proud of you. Ace of Wands is also about um, inspired action steps. So if, you know, I want to do something new, this helps guide me. This will give me the inspiration I'm looking for. And coming into the sun, the illuminator. So it should be very clear. We have the three of swords under the empress. And then, interesting, we have the tower under the tower. You know, I feel like some of you, this is motherly guidance, like you're receiving motherly guidance. I'm saying motherly because it can be a mom. You know, my mom's a Leo, um, a mother figure, like a grandmother, a big sister. My big sister also has crossed over. And I'm not saying it because this is my reading. Um... I just want you to understand that, you know, our loved ones, when they do cross over, at least the majority, and maybe not all of them, what do they want to do? They want to help us. They want to help us. So the three swords coming under the Empress. By the way, 
I just saw this in Aquarius as a reading, and now it's in your reading. And what I'm looking at is 33. Um, I often feel some have a master number 33, or it's the energy. Uh, you know, 33 is, the master number 33 is about pure love. Pure love. And, you know, Diane, my soul sister, often channels my son. And that's one of the things she said to me, that Steve is in pure love. So for some of you, this could talk about your, your own mother or, again, a mother figure now being in pure love. So you don't need to listen. I know it's I, I know the heartache. I know the law. I know how it feels. Um, but I also know that your mother would want you to keep moving, you know, keep living. It's and I, I feel you know, I feel like we, and some of you are going to disagree with me, um, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'm open. Um, but I do feel like we have, you know, like, even our death may be predestined. Now, can someone go before it's time? Maybe. Um, but let me put it a different way. For those that we've lost, even though our human self is carrying this hurt, right? The pain of it. They are not in pain. They are in pure love. And I feel like they want you to know that. You know, it's interesting because this tower, someone's falling from it. This tower, it's made from gold. It's almost like, it's, it, it feels like a mother figure saying, this is my castle. This is my castle in heaven. You know, I don't know where I learned this, but I had heard, I don't know if it was my own spirit guides, you know, because I do meditate. I do ask for like, you know, spiritual guidance. I I do ask what heaven is like. And I do get glimpses, you know, like I've seen the library of the, the Akashic Records. Um, but I also heard or felt, I can't remember, I've known this for a long time, that when we cross over, that we each have our own, like, palace or house or, you know, what's ever our dream. Um, and that may be till Judgment Day. All right, let's keep going. But I am recognizing that that tower is made of gold. You know, like lightning has struck it. Struck it. Did I say that right? But it hasn't affected that tower. And... Your spiritual team, I feel like, is the one who's sending out this Ace of Wands inspired action. Especially opening up with the Knight of Pentacles, your guardian angel. We have the Page of Pentacles under the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it can certainly, you know, the Page of Pentacles to me talks about a learning experience. And because it's coming under the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like it's it's um, our spiritual team saying, you know, we're here on this earth to learn, to expand on a soul level. And the only way that can happen is through experiences. Sometimes they're difficult, but I have to say the most difficult experiences teach us um, the most amazing lessons. It could also be a younger earth sign. Uh, we do have Capricorn right there. But mm, I'm really not feeling that, but I'm not going to leave it off the table either. 
This feels kind of, well, not kind of, this feels like a spiritual reading for me, for you, for me to give to you. And a wands under that knight of wands. Hmm. What what cards keep going off the table today? Full. Beautiful. A new beginning. A leap of faith. Mirroring the sun. Following that ten of wands. That Ten of Wands can talk about a period of time of heavy responsibilities. It could talk about something that just weighs you down. But because the Fool is following it, I feel like this is the end of that. You know, like that period of time where, I don't know, I just feel like in the Ten of Wands... We are subconsciously hoping, like for a tower, in a way. Well, we have two towers. Um, but that's so this heaviness can end. And this is about a new beginning. And I love that you're going to be inspired on what action steps to take. Not only that, but it's going to be very clear with the sun illuminating it. You know, the only thing you need to do is take a leap of faith. And also remember, the fool definitely has past experiences. But what the fool does is the same as the empress. I extract the wisdom from my experiences. And it really is who what's made me who I am today. And that's something you should be proud of. Even if you're still overcoming something, still be proud of yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like old souls... I know I'm an old soul. I feel like sometimes we come down here and we do ask for the hardest lessons, especially if some of you have a master number. That means you have lived all the lives of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and maybe this is the last time you want to reincarnate on Earth. So give it to me. Give me these lessons. That's what the Page of Pentacles. I'm learning as I go. The Fool will tell you, you do need to be the one who's willing to take a leap of faith. Like, we can't make you. You know, your spirit guides can guide you, but they can't make you take those steps because you have free will. We have the Six of Cups under the Three of Swords. I don't know why, but that reminds me of my son. You know, because when I first lost him, um, of course, I was in constant heartache. But then I feel like God healed my soul. And now when I think of my son, I think of the beautiful times that we've had. You know, I do feel my son and I were soulmates. Um, And when I use my experiences, I want you to understand it's because I feel like it's meant for you. The message is meant for you. But it may also say, like, you know, if your mother or mother figure has crossed over, think of the happy times. You know, when you think of them, Again, allow a smile to come on your face. There's nothing wrong with that. That's something I also had to learn. You know, like, how do I have the right to be happy when, you know, the loss that I've had? How can I be happy? Well, because they're not in pain. They are in love. They are free and clear. 
You know what I mean? Like, even if they had, let's say, like diabetes, they don't have it anymore. Let's say they had addiction problems. They're gone. So allowing yourself to feel that. You know, we're all going to be back together again. But in our due time, we have the Queen of Swords can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then with the Queen of Swords comes the hangman. The hangman, a pause in action. The hangman's really seeking wisdom. What do I do? What do I do? I'm seeking spiritual wisdom. But wisdom that I can use on this physical plane. Well, I feel like that's what you're receiving here. You know. The Knight of Pentacles, I bring, you know, I come at the right time. And when I do come in, I promise you, I'm going to enhance your life. But it's because you deserve it. And then the Knight of Wands following that. So passion, desire, the Ace of Wands, inspired action. The full underneath that, the willingness to take a leap of faith. That's what the hangman also may be asking. Like some of you may have been in this, let's just say, kind of pulling yourself from the world. And this may say, okay, it's time to get yourself back out into the world. We have the seven of cups on the bottom. To me, this is a question. It can talk about like trying to make a decision, but the energy could be chaotic at the time. Um, it is at the bottom of deck. So that's the energy that wants to leave. we got the five of swords underneath that toxicity. Hmm. There could be something that presented itself and you're making a decision or you were making a decision, whether it be good or not so good. I feel like this may be, you know, this could be the energy of someone else who, let's just say, has toxic energy. But they probably don't show it right away. And that could be where the confusion comes in. That could be what caused the Ten of Wands. And it's interesting, the Knight of Pentacles is looking right over the Seven of Cups, almost like when you make a decision, then that's the time for me to come in. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's just go deeper. Deeper if we dare. Um... I'm just thinking of signs on the board right now. Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, you, Leo, um, Earth, Air, Fire. We have it all. Anything we don't have yet is cups. Interesting. Well, we in a way, we do with the moon. Uh, we have the six of cups right here. So we have it all. Oh. Well, hello. Something didn't want to come up. Quite a few things. Here's that Six of Cups again. Over the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Over the Knight of Wands. Also connected to the Moon. Two of Pentacles here. I'm sorry, the Two of Wands. Here we go. This is you saying yes to something. This is you following your inspiration. This is you taking a leap of faith. But listen, I feel like the sun makes it pretty clear. You know, it's the two. So it's stepping upon the path. And then allowing yourself to be guided. We have, look at this. Have the hangman in the awakened state. Now, I want to tell you something. When I'm pre-shuffling your decks... First thing I make sure is that all my cards are in the upright. That way, if they come in reverse, I know they're meant to be in reverse. Now, I don't always read reversals. 
Um, but if they come face up, then that's the way they're going to stay. Look at this. So we have the hangman seeking wisdom, right, on this level. Now we have the hangman receiving that wisdom and how beautiful it's connected to the empress. And it's coming over the three of swords. It's like connecting to above. Connecting to your loved one and trusting their guidance. This is you becoming spiritually awoken. This is you receiving those spiritual, that spiritual guidance you were seeking. You received it. And I love that it's following the two of wands. Some of you, this is a new path, but it's the path of the wands. And it makes sense coming over, you know, the two of wands coming over the ace of wands with the sun above it and the knight of wands on the other side of it. This feels like a journey I would want to take. Um, and by the way, when I say I, I mean you. I'm just a Leo right now. So I love that it's shown you in the awakened state. Some of you, I feel like you just needed to hear that your loved ones are okay. Better than okay. So get on moving with, or get moving with your life. Start following those dreams. Interesting, the Knight of Pentacles brings in the Six of Cups. That can certainly talk about, um, and it's the second Six of Cups. So that can talk about someone that you know. But this would be someone that when you think about them, it would bring a smile to your face. You know, this would be someone that I would have good memories about. Um, you know, I do feel like this Six of Cups is really talking about our loved ones who have gone before us saying, you know, don't cry for me. Remember the good times. This Six of Cups feels like different energy. We'll see. We have the devil again. Um, it's really temptation. Now, though I do want to say, you know, it can be... Um, you know, if we believe, if we if we believe that there's good spirits, then we got to know there's also not so good spirits, right? And they can try to influence us, but God gave us power over them. God gave us power over the devil. And any negative spirit, let's say, I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, except that it must be something I need to say. I feel like if there's anything of, let's say, temptation that, you know, like the Five of Swords under that toxic energy and then the Seven of Cups, um, you know, if anyone or anything is coming towards you that would not be good for you, let's say, I feel like you'll know it immediately. I feel like your guides will make sure you know it. You know what I mean? Like, they will make sure. Oh. There's a five of swords over the page of pentacles. So you learn something from this. You know, five is about change. But sometimes a change, you know, unless I'm the toxic one, then really it's about um, understanding oneself, right? Understanding one's shadow self and the ability to, you know, know oneself, all of oneself, but also know like when I'm in my shadow self, when I'm in my light, you have it all here. Um, but I kind of feel like this is talking about another person. Yet, I also feel like this is saying it was an opportunity for you to learn 
and to grow from it. You know, sometimes it's just knowing that I deserve better. You know, if I'm willing to put work in on myself and it's, I'm seeing you um, having this spiritual awakening, at least some of you are on your way, maybe even connecting to your loved ones. But the realization that I can't allow, you know, past people who carry toxic energy um, to stop me from living my life. And maybe someone did show up. Maybe someone of the past showed up. Now, there could be two people, but let's talk about one first, because I, I do feel like there is someone who carries some toxic energy. But there is also this ability for you to learn from it. It could be some like a karmic um, lesson. And by the way, though karmic lessons are hard, once you've learned that lesson, you've learned it for eternity. Not only that, I feel like you learned it for future generations. It's like breaking a curse. Some of you could be breaking, um, let's say it is temptation or let's say it is addiction or something like that. And you do overcome it. You know, I feel like then the following generations, you've broken that curse for them also. Hmm. The Knight of Wands over the Ten of Wands, moving you out of that energy. Beautiful. And by the way, this Knight is, go is heading towards the future. I kind of skipped right over the Queen of Cups. I don't know why. Um, Queen of Cups can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have Cancer and Pisces here, but Queen of Cups to me, you know, is a loving soul. Um, it can talk about love. She is holding a cup out, and the next energy is the Two of Wands, so beginning a path. You know, it's interesting where I felt like there may be two people who are going to come into your life. One may be good. One may be not so much. Ultimately, you're the one who's going to make that decision. But yet, with the hangman in the awakened state, I feel like it'll be very clear. Another thing I want to say, even though the devil's here twice, which can be illusionary energy, and he is coming over both the towers. The sun will illuminate that for you. You know, to me, the, it, w when the sun is out, anything that's done in the dark will come to the light. Queen of Cups does enjoy being in love. Um, sometimes to a fault. And, you know, not that I'm putting them down for that, because we all have our thing, right? Like Virgo can overthink. Um, but this could talk about a love that's coming in because she is holding a cup and she's holding it out. And she's moving towards very positive energy. And she's coming over the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is right below her. I feel like the king, the queen is you. Male or female, by the way. And I'm not thinking about any sign. I just feel like it's you. It's interesting because I would not be surprised if a loved one who has crossed over is sending you a love, someone special in your life. You know, I often think that my son helps Sam and I come together. I know it. I don't know why I always say I think. I know it. We have the four pentacles over the full. 
Um, the Four of Pentacles it can certainly talk about your home. Uh, it definitely talks about grounded energy. And maybe you are feeling more grounded than ever. And I feel like because you're feeling more grounded than ever, and I'm saying that because it's mirroring the sun. So, the illuminator. It would make sense that, oh, we have cars just flying everywhere now. Um... You know, when, when you feel grounded, you feel good. Even if you have health problems. You know, I'm not going to say you feel healthy. It depends. But stability is... Hmm, I feel a big part of this. Now, maybe it's talking about someone coming in. Are they grounded? The only thing with the Four of Pentacles you want to think about is sometimes in the Four of Pentacles, we can be a little resistant to change. And change is happening. But it's good change. Because it's ending the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is where it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But the night, it's kind of like rescuing you. We have the Eight of Pentacles over the Six of Cups. We'll take what's face up first. Mm. We have the King of Pentacles. Can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It is right below Capricorn. Look at this, the Ten of Wands again. Now it's connected right to that toxic energy. Oh, and the Eight of Swords. But... Normally, the Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. It's where we put up barriers and walls to protect ourselves, to protect our heart, protect our money, whatever it may be. But it's really, you know, it's an earthly energy. Um, our spiritual self knows that we don't need these boundaries. Or no, it's good to set boundaries. We don't need these walls to protect ourselves. That's what our intuition is for. That's what you want to trust. So when someone realizes that I put up these walls and they're willing to put them down, it is a sense of freedom. And think about the Empress and think about what Mother Mary sent out, right? You're both gentle and powerful. The Empress is loving and nurturing, but also powerful. She's powerful because of her lessons. And I do feel like the Empress usually has had a lot of lessons in her life. She's awakened. So this is about freeing yourself. Some of you may be afraid of something that's new because how do I know where it's going to go? Well, that's up to you. Because it's your seeds of intention that you plant that really are going to determine your tomorrow or your future. You know, if you plant no seeds, there is no harvest. So don't be afraid to plant those seeds of intention. And the more I plant them from a positive, like from the sun's energy, the better. Or the more prosperity those seeds become. So, setting, self, setting oneself free. I don't know why, but I feel like this night is coming and swooping you away. But in the best of ways. What's it taking you from? It's moving you from the toxicity. It's moving you from the self-created prison. Here's this Ten of Wands. The night's coming over the Ten of Wands. The heaviness. You know, it can talk about a period of time where there was a lot of responsibilities in your life, almost too much. Sometimes you need to ask yourself, am I taking on other people's issues, problems, and trying to solve them myself? But I can't. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes it's literally just feeling like you're taking on the weight of the world. But yet a lot of it's not, you don't need to. 
like, you know, your guides would be like, don't think it's your responsibility. Like, each has their own lessons to learn. And sometimes when we try to fix someone, make someone better, um, and then it doesn't work, we think it's well, like, what's wrong with us? You know what I mean? But we're not, sometimes what we're doing is almost taking away their life lesson. Remember, eight is about a new beginning. But this feels like I have to allow myself to have a new beginning. And it doesn't have to mean all areas of your life. I feel like with Mother Mary bringing out forgiveness, that's probably part of the Eight of Swords. Again, you may have carried the weight of someone else's responsibilities on your own shoulders. And, you know, maybe you do, well, that's up to you. But I always feel like it's a good idea to forgive. You know, I myself have been through quite a lot of hard, let's just say, lessons. And I've had to learn to forgive. And no, I didn't pick up the phone and call. You know, like, what's coming to mind is a relationship I was in was very abusive. Um... And I really had to free myself. And it's interesting because I was looking for someone else to save me. But there was no one coming to save me. And then it was my actions just spur the moment. Actions that I took that saved my life. And truly saved my life. Because I have a feeling if I would have stayed with that person, I probably wouldn't be alive right now. Now, I only tell you my experiences when I feel that they can help you in some way. All right. Hello, Empress. Now, I feel like this is you now. And I love that it's mirroring the sun. So, I can either live in this self-created prison, or I can understand the power that I have mainly due to the experiences that I have gained, the lessons I have learned, the willingness to be the fool, right? To take a leap of faith on this next journey. This does feel like a new journey opening up. But boy, do you feel ready. Two of Pentacles. Two Pentacles they call the juggler's card. I guess because I'm a Virgo, I feel like it's more of like using your logical mind in making a decision. Um, coming over the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, first of all, eight, new beginning. This can talk about something new is opening up. Um, could be like a new job opportunity um, or even more. Uh, let's say when I see the Empress, I always think of creative energy. You know, someone who's very creative. And I always feel like Leo is one of the most creative signs. Um, but sometimes you do hold yourself back. You don't trust in those abilities. But I hope that you do. So anyway, um, this Eight of Pentacles can talk about the willingness to go into something new as the apprentice. You know, but knowing in your heart that you will come out as the master teacher. No one can teach better than the Empress. And that's because she's been there. She's done that. She's been through it. She's learned. But she also has learned to live in the present moment, just as the fool is asking. Oh, she's right over the fool. I think it's asking you to take a, uh, take a different viewpoint, looking at your life, instead of being like, Mm, you know, I'm going to say woe is me, but I don't feel like you are saying woe is me. Um, but instead of thinking like life is never working out for me, what can I do to change it? What needs to go? You know, the sun's going to illuminate that for you. The sun illuminates everything. The good, the bad, 
the ugly. But we want to know. You know, and then with the hangman in the awakened state, I feel like this is you understanding both your shadow self and your light self. And the moon can represent that also, the shadow and the light. But then you have the light right next to it. Also, feminine and masculine energy. So if there's something that, um, something new you want to try, whether it be, you know, in your career, in your creativity, or even in love, I feel like take a chance. Take a chance. Um, Eight of Pentacles can answer a question also. How do I know that I will be successful? All you have to do, my dear, is put your focus on it. Whatever you focus on is what you will grow. And you can focus on more than one thing at a time. You can focus on love and your creativity. Do you know, I feel like saying you can have it all. Holy Towers. Three of Pentacles. And then the tower again. Look at this. The tower, the tower, the tower. They're all on this side. Interesting. First of all, here's the hangman seeking wisdom, right? And he's surrounded by these towers. It's almost like seeking wisdom over the dark. Over, and sorry, Capricorn, if you're a Capricorn, you're probably like, man, I'm so tired of people calling me dark energy. It's not that. Um, you know, because I feel like Capricorn does become comfortable with both their shadow and their light side. And I feel like that's a good thing. However, kind of feel like because the hangman is surrounded by these towers, I am definitely seeking wisdom, like spiritual wisdom. Please help me on this physical plane. Well, that's why the hangman came in reverse after the fact, came after the, uh, the hangman seeking wisdom. And now the hangman has found that wisdom. Three of Pentacles. Number one, I feel like it's trusting in oneself. This is about your individuality. You know, if you're creating something, um, if you're artistic, which many of you are, it's believing in yourself. I also feel if this is talking about anyone that's coming into your life, that they will love you the way you are. Um... You know, this is the, appreci the appreciation of the individuality. So, so your guide's telling you that. Like, be proud of who you are. Be proud of your accomplishments. Be proud of just taking steps forward. In the most difficult times. Like, I feel you're strong. I feel that. Like, all of a sudden, I'm feeling like this strength within you. King of Pentacles may be someone. It's interesting. I just realized this King of Pentacles is coming over the Queen of Swords. Um, and you may be one or the other. But I feel like it's a representation of someone who will really recognize you on an individual level. Like recognize you on a soul level. I also love the Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Anything that you're doing in the world of a creative nature. And, and, and I don't mean like you're not making money because you are making money. Um, but again, it's trusting within those abilities. And I feel like you have so many abilities, Leo. There's so many things, you know, you are so creative. Um, before, 
I bring out the romance angels. I want to look at this king and queen together. Because this king is mirroring the five of swords. So I just want to make sure. I just want to look at this uh, three of swords. Okay. No. That tells me no. Now, I'm not saying just an earth sign. But let's talk about. The King of Pentacles for a second. Um, and let's forget that he's an earth sign. Normally the King of Pentacles is a loyal energy. Normally this is someone who's got their shit together. You know what I mean? Like they got their finances together. Um, but now the Three Swords comes over. And I, and I was questioning whether this King was, let's just say, coming in the light or coming in the dark. So this could be someone who's making a repeat appearance that may not be so good for you. Could pull you back into lower vibrational energy just as you have risen above. And sometimes that's just the way it happens. But you have the wisdom now to say no if you so choose. And I hope you do. Because I'm not feeling good about this king this could certainly be a repeat pattern with someone you know like i give him a chance and then it results in a tower i give him another chance another tower another chance another tower you know three towers three swords piercing the heart 33 again mm. can't get away from it okay so Nay, to that king. I want to just take a few cards right across the middle of this spread. Because I get a feeling, you know, first of all, I feel like this is a very spiritual reading. And what I mean by that is your spiritual team, your loved ones, your spirit guides have lived on this earth before. Remember that. They have lived on this earth. They know you. Well, you know, your whole spiritual team knows you. Um, but they have they lived this lifetime. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. They've lived in, they've had life before. Let's just put it that way. They were born of a woman. Um and I guess what I mean is versus angels. Angels did not walk the earth. Angels, Our angels need our permission to really help guide us. Our spirit guides are always sending us signs. Doesn't mean we always listen, you know, because there may be a lesson over here that we've repeated three times. Anyway, let's go right across the middle. Because um, I was going to say, there also may be someone coming in who is carrying loving energy. Page of Pentacles. My little risk taker. Let me tell you why I call the Page of Pentacles my risk taker. This is someone, at least at this table. This is someone who, and you know, this is the inner you. This is someone who takes chances and they don't all pay off, but I still get back up again. I don't stop taking chances because one didn't work out. You know, I don't take a, I don't stop taking a risk in my own life because something else didn't work out. This is someone who gets back up, tries again, you know, learns the lessons but tries something new it's not uh, you know well you know maybe that is part of the lesson like if you've done something over and over and over again and it keeps resulting in the three of swords for you then know that you know like know that if i decide to give it one more chance what's going to be different you know, unless they themselves have had a spiritual awakening, really, what would be different? Probably nothing. 
I'd probably end up right back in the same place. You know, don't create the Eight of Swords. Don't create these walls. Trust your... And by the way, if this is talking about energy that is not so good for you, it's more important than ever to really pay attention to your intuition. We have the King of Wands. Interesting, from a page to a king. The Eight of Wands. What I think about, I bring about. Also, fast-moving energy. And then the High Priestess. Your intuition. This is what you want to trust. You know, when the Fool shows up in the reading, when the Fool's about to walk down this new journey of the Two of Wands, the Fool first will meet the Magician. And the Magician will say to the Fool, don't think that you cannot be successful on this next journey, wherever it may take you. You possess everything you need. You already have all the tools that you need. Don't carry the past with you. Manifest. The second mentor that the fool meets is the high priestess. And the high priestess teaches the fool that I am your GPS in this lifetime. I am your GPS. And how do I love that the high priestess is now over the awakened hangman? So it, it's almost like I see you evolving before my eyes where I had a hard time trusting, probably because of the walls. But now the empress right beside that, she doesn't need walls. She trusts her. She's, you know, of all the energies in the tarot, I feel like she's the one who trusts her intuition more than any. But we are the empress. It's just reaching that energy. So. I feel like you're reading Leo is talking about a few different things. First of all, I feel like it's it's from your spiritual team letting you know that you don't need to worry about us. Matter of fact, we we are watching over you. And then I feel like um there's some things that you yourself have overcome. And you know, just be what's the word I want to use? Just be aware. You know, if something tempts you, you've got to walk away. Because I'm afraid if you don't, you will end up right back in the heaviness of the Ten of Wands and the broken heart of the Three of Swords. But yet... I feel like there is another energy coming in. And this is why it's really important for your intuition or you to allow your intuition to guide you. Again, the sun's going to illuminate it for you, but then you have to trust that. And, you know, the page going into the king immediately, well, this page is looking at the six of cups. So this can certainly talk about someone that you know. Someone that you used to know, well, someone that you know, but maybe back in the day, back when they were a page, back when you were a page, but now you're both in, you know, either the king or queen's energy. So to me, that means current energy. It's how you've evolved, how they have, have evolved. This would be someone who you would have good memories of. Someone, when you think about them, they bring a smile to your face. And yes, I know I said this twice, but I do feel like one is about your spiritual team. But this other one is on this earthly plane. Um, you know what? Let's go up and look at this six of cups. This six of cups. It's coming over the Knight of Wands, or the Knight of Pentacles, by the way. And remember, that Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles comes at the right time. 
and it is divine timing. And the Knight of Pentacles teaches us patience, you know, not before it's time. Some things are not meant to be when we want them, but it's more about divine timing. And what I mean by that is when you are more able, let's say this energy comes towards you, but you have all these walls around you, it'd be very hard for them to get through. But if you're able to put these walls down, trust your intuition, know that the sun will illuminate anything that may not be good for you, then you're better able to, well, make a true decision, make a clear decision versus a fear-based decision. Ace of Swords. Hello, lovers. Wow. Two sixes, by the way, connected. Could this be communication coming in? By the way, the Ace of Swords, um, in a lot of decks, it'll say triumphant success. So it may say to you that this can, this has the opportunity to truly be successful. The Lovers is a card of Gemini. The meaning of the card is the head over heart decision. But what, how I feel the lovers is the chemistry. You know what else I want to say? I point this out all the time, but I feel like it's the perfect illustration of the lovers. You see the feminine's energy, right? She's in the current energy. You see the masculine behind her. He's not in current energy. That means he hasn't quite reached her yet. Boy, can she feel it. She's feeling it. And then the Ace of Swords. Some of you may be starting a new relationship and it may start over the phone. It may start over social media. You know, some type of communication. It feels to me like communication and then physically coming into your world. But I also feel like there may be someone else coming. You know, you know, it, 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 I've gotten this in a lot of readings this month where I feel like some of us and listen, I've been there, you know, got stuck with the narcissist somehow. And, you know, you try to fix them or you hope that it's going to get better. You give them another shot, but it keeps resulting in the same energy. Well, it's showing that it will just result in that energy again. And then there's this beautiful energy coming in. Which am I going to accept? That's probably what the Seven of Cups is asking you. Which cup are you going to choose? You know, I know this energy pretty well. I may even think that this is love. But there's no way it can be. I mean, it can be low level love. I don't feel like they could be giving you what you deserve. But I feel like this person will. I feel like there's so much toxicity on this side of the board. Even what's mirroring it. But everything wants to move you away from that. Okay. Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So we have pages. So I do feel like some of you, this could be a reconnection. Um. I mean, I feel like there may be two people. One good, one not so good. What you gonna do, what you gonna do when they done for you? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say, hmm, maybe. All right, so let's take the romance angel and um, I'm thinking about both sides. Look at this same message that Mother Mary brought out, forgiving and learning. 
forgiving and learning. It's like, I don't know if he even said learning, but something told me it did. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Leo, as you release and heal, that just means you're not you're not willing to take this energy along for this next journey. You're going to let this go. I feel like that's why the hangman's in the awakened state. Like, I clearly see that you have, not you, but that they have become taught, like, that you are just toxic energy. This is me talking to them. This is you talking to them. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to forgive you in my heart. Because I am not going to carry your energy along for the ride. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Hello, true love. Hello, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. I mean, come on. The hangman in the awakened state. This is like you are learning lessons. You are spiritually evolving. I, I feel like these walls, I feel like they're coming down. And probably the more you're just able to, again, release and heal the past, the more the walls come down. You know, sometimes these type of people can make us feel that we are not worthy of love. But that's not true. That's not true. And that is just mean. It's just mean. It's cruel. Because you are worthy of the highest form of love. I feel like this person knows that. This person's thinking about themselves. This person's put all the weight of their relationship on your shoulders. This person just wants to love you up here. Passion. Well, we have so much passion on the board. I don't know how you can, you wouldn't be able to feel the passion. Even in the lover's energy where I said the feminine is feeling the masculine's energy before it even arise. And it could be because it may start as communication. Feminine and masculine energy is right here. It's the first energies that really came out. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You know what I feel like this is saying? I feel like this is going to happen no matter what. Like the communication is going to happen no matter what. This may even happen no matter what. It's really going to be what are you going to do? And if you are uncertain, that's where I feel like maybe friends or family comes in. Ask the people who truly love you. You know, like when I do your reading, I feel like I'm your best friend and I'm giving you advice that a best friend would give you. And sometimes, you know, it reminds me like when I like tell my daughter things, I always tell her, I say, you know, I would never give you bad advice. I only give you advice that comes purely from love. I can't say I'm always right, but I, you know. Like I, I ask her, try to trust my advice because you know that I love you. So that's kind of what I feel here. You know, this is an abundant reading. This is a very spiritual reading. This is a very loving reading. But this is also, there is some darkness to it. But again, you have the power over the darkness. 
I often feel, and I see it all the time, when, especially if we were with someone who has narcissistic tendencies, and they don't want to, they don't want to, you know, they say they want to be with us and then they don't want to be with us, or they contact us and they don't contact us. Just a whole, it's a mind game. And Leo, you're not going to take that for long. You know what I mean? Because I feel like most Leos know their self worth. Um, but maybe not always. So, what was, I forget what I was saying. Um, it's like, oh, I know what I was going to say. I often feel like a narcissistic type of person where they're not willing and maybe they're not able because sometimes people just don't know how to love. Sometimes people put themselves before others. And let me tell you, there will be a price to pay. They're creating their own karma. You don't need to worry about that. You know, divine will take care of that. Um, and think about that because the karma we create, it can be bad, it can be good. If we create bad karma, we're going to have to go through that um, but be on the other side of it. But also... You can create good karma. So let karma take care of them as you start moving towards this. As you start building your abundance, as you start taking some chances, as you put those walls down and you trust your intuition, not just your intuition, but also your whole spiritual team. Then you'll know what to do. Then this power, this person no longer holds the power. The power is back with you. Then this person enters and those walls are down. It doesn't have to mean that immediately I say yes. Maybe we have a conversation. Maybe we talk for a while. You know, Sam and I talked for five years before we came into union. Um, but it's, it's what I felt like I needed at the time. But now we're in union. But it was me, you know, it was me who had to jump on a plane. Um, and then, I, you know, I've told this story many times, but I, I kind of feel it in here. Um you know, it's like we talked for five years and I'm glad we did because we worked. We got to know each other again. We knew each other as teenagers. We, you know, we did not know each other as adults. So we really got to know each other again. Uh, there was a lot of fears that, you know, I had to work through. These are the type of fears you don't even expect to arise, but they do. Um, to the point one day I just said to myself, Sandy, get up. Get on the computer and book your flight. Because I knew once I booked that flight, there would be no, that I would go. There'd be no turning back. And that was March 8th, 2020. Anyway, um, I'm only telling you that because I feel that over here. Like, this is not about needing to rush anything. Because I feel like the romance will just keep on building. I feel like this whole reading is about you trusting within yourself. You understanding that, you know, you can create one hell of a life for yourself. But you have to know who's got to go. What's got to go. What's holding you back. Where you're holding yourself back. You got to jump into the foal's energy, free and clear. Light as a feather. You know, when you let go the harshness of the past, then you become light as a feather. True love, right in the center of your reading. And I'm going to leave it there. Leo, 
I love you so, so much. Truly, I love you so, so much. Um, you know, it breaks my heart when I know your heart is breaking. So I'm hoping this reading is going to help some of you overcome some hardships or some hurts. I hope for those who've lost, you know, um, loved ones who have crossed over. I hope this helps you understand that you do not have to cry for them. You do not have to worry for them. Matter of fact, they're probably more, you know, I feel like, you know, I've said this to my kids, like if I, if I left before them, I said, you better believe I'm going to help guide you. You know, if I'm allowed that I'm going to guide you. So. Trust, trust that you're being guided. You know, you can take this lower vibrational energy back if you want. But it's just going to put you right back in the same place. Or you can try something new. I feel like that has to be up to you. But you have such divine energy on the board. I cannot see you going back to something that was toxic. I feel like lesson learned. I'm doing a little check mark there. All right, guys. I thank you. As always, I love you. Um, please leave your comments. This is one hell of a reading. Like, I felt every bit of it. I definitely felt your spiritual guidance deep, deep within my soul. And I hope that you can feel it too. Um, so anyways, I thank you. I thank you for really just being part of my soul family. And I feel like we have new soul members entering into our lives every day. And I welcome you all. Um, I thank you in every way you support this channel. If it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be me. <laughs> Or I should say, there wouldn't be Archangel Guidance. I was going to change my name, but I feel like it's too late in the game now. Um, but anyways, true love right in the center of your reading. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? All right, Leo. I love you. Thank you. Um, I wish you... The best of holidays. I really do. And those who feel like they're in a jam, so to speak, I hope that divine helps you in some way. Truly. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye. Oh, doesn't want to end.